stopped by your office before I left. The call didn't take very long. I cut it short. My head wasn't in it. Sorry. No more apologies, all right? You don't think that you owe me one? Caroline, I was just looking out for you. After you accused Ridge of using me. As if I would ever let that happen. And then you berated him and threatened his job. I gave him an opportunity to tell the truth. He didn't want to. You tried to humiliate him by forcing a pencil in his hand. He didn't deserve that. I can't believe you're still defending him. Ridge and I are artists. I understand what he's going through. What we do, it, it, it's more than that. It's, it's who we are. It's, it's what we're made of. So not being able to draw, it's like not being able to breathe. He should have told Dad. He, was, he didn't want to tell anyone. He wasn't going to tell me. I just figured it out. And then when I found out that I could help, I had to do it. Because he made you feel that way. Oh, my God. Hi, I'm sorry. Have we ever met? Caroline Spencer Forrester, super nice to meet you. No one makes me do anything. The choices that I make, yeah. Maybe they're not always right, but they are always mine. Working with Ridge has been amazing. It is the most fulfilling thing in my entire career. As president of this company, I have to see what kind of effect it'll have on the business. I don't want it to have an effect on us. And neither do I. Okay. So then why do we have to make this such a big deal? I can't. We just put this all behind us. You just get so worked up sometimes. You, baby, you get so intense. Especially when it comes to things about me. I, just come give your wifey a kiss. <laughs>